area. Plus, well, just last week, a five foot gator was found in another Hinesville subdivision. WJCL's Ashley Lincoln, yep, there she is. She made it back safe and sound, I guess. She was at that pond today. That's right, Jennifer. Safe and sound, not attacked by any alligators that were out there. But imagine being out in your backyard and you spot a five foot alligator. Well, that was the case for this one Hinesville resident. Four gators caught. I just looked out there and I saw an alligator. And one still on the run. Some of them do get away. Hinesville residents say it seems like lately gators are taking over lakes and ponds. All these years you've been living out here, you haven't seen this many alligators. No, never. <laughs> Cassie Tanner says in her 50 plus years of living by this pond, back behind Bryant Commons Park, she's <laughs> never seen so many gators at one time. I remember two. But that's all I can remember. That is until Wednesday morning. She saw Trapper Jack and his team remove four five-foot alligators from this pond. You know, I want her to see him coming out of the water. Tanner says she noticed the alligators when feeding fish with her neighbor a few weeks back. She put those watermelon rinds out there one day. And, and that's when she saw two alligators. When the second one appeared, I called him. I said, y'all, we don't have one alligator, but we have two out here. <laughs> Tanner says she called the city of Hinesville who then reached out to Trapper Jack. A total of four five-foot alligators were found. Well, I didn't see those two. They didn't come to visit me yet. <laughs> need to call law enforcement and they will get in touch with me and we'll relocate. The sighting comes less than a week after a five-foot alligator was found in a pond in the Griffin Park subdivision. Hinesville officers tried to lure the animal but were unsuccessful. That gator was never caught really doesn't bother me. I just take care of whatever comes up, you know. Tanner says she doesn't know why so many alligators are being spotted, but okay, she's you. not letting it bother her. And Trapper Jack says the park is much safer now, now that the gators are gone. And Jennifer, they will not be euthanized. They are going to take the gators about 30 miles away to a natural habitat where they can live. Awesome. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ashley. All right.